What's your thoughts on the game as a whole? I thought the environment was incredible, and we'll have the same thing tomorrow night uh, at Northern. I think it's, it was a great college atmosphere. I, I think going in, when the game started there, we got that early power play. Um, I, I talked to the coaches a little bit on the bench. I thought that I was concerned with our youth and their experience. You know, they're, they're you know, their big guys are tremendous hockey players. And when we, when we looked a little bit, I thought a little bit timid on that power play. It started out, you know, I thought the nerves got to us a little bit. But uh, that really felt like the best environment I've felt since Bowling Green. That's what I thought about when we won that championship a few, you know, a few years back. It really just felt like, uh, and I love hearing those guys sing in there again, but it just felt uh, felt energized. Uh, the guy thought the guys... Um, within themselves found it and played really well. Great kills in the third. I, I give, uh, I think that uh, um, t Tyler and, and uh, Botts and Jordy have done an incredible job with our special teams. And, you know, I think that's five games in a row without a, a power play goal against. And we went the first, I don't know, 12 with them scoring at least one every game. So um, it was a fun game. It was a fun game. And I'm very proud of our guys. I think we finally got about 500. Um, after not winning a single game in October, so um, after that over month, so very proud of the guys, and it'll be a be a really fun game tomorrow night as well. Talk about uh, the effort Logan gives you, gives a goal and an assist, and just comes up with big plays when you need him to. Yeah, I thought I thought I mean he played well. He got us, gave us a jump with that goal, nice inside move on that power play goal. Uh, I mean on that line rush goal to get give it, get us on the board. You know they shut us out for four straight periods. Um, including the semifinal game last year, so um, you know, are, were we going to score on them? And when you don't, when you haven't played a team yet, you don't know the matchup, you know. And and it was our, again, our, they're extremely well coached. Grant and his staff do a, a phenomenal job. They have, you know, there's no one that has more talent than them. They're dynamic. Um, they compete hard defensively. They block shots. Um, it was, uh, it, I, but I thought a lot of guys stepped up. I, you know, getting those two power play goals in that five on three um, to set up the third period, I thought was big, and then huge kills in the third. I thought. How much of this rivalry series boils down to making sure everything isn't like as fluky as possible? Because we had <coughs> fluky goals for either team. Um, systems kind of break down. It's just mm -hmm. whoever doesn't make the least amount of yeah, mistakes. Yeah, it, they always take. You know, these games, rivalry games, always and big games always have, um, you know, that type of a. Of environment, you know, they, they're, um, you know, odd things happen. Just like the last game of a year, odd things happen. You know, oftentimes in an elimination game, crazy things happen. You know what I mean? And, uh, and uh, I thought our guys stuck to their discipline well. It could have gotten away from us a little bit in the third there with, uh, you know, when they got the four on three and, and and then they get that, you know, we do all that work and they get that goofy goal from behind the net and. Um, but again, I thought our guys showed some great resiliency, and all those things are confidence builders for the for the players. That uh, every time you find a way to have success, it it you know it gives you the opportunity to lead to unequal performance some you know down the road, mm -hmm. and that's where you elevate. That's where we all elevate ourselves. So growth doesn't come through anything easy. Growth comes from tearing down and and building back up, and confidence comes from having success in a tough situation and doing it. You know, and then doing it again. What were your thoughts on Bronte's play tonight? He could have no, had like three goals, but ended tremendous. up with only an assist. Tremendous. When when he's a, a skate first guy, pass second. Um, you know, I was just talking to Dirk uh, on the other on the other interview there that he's when Bronte's skate first, he, his two strides, he gets separation quickly, um, and he's and he's like works he down low below the goal line, the opposite end, uh, and he's you know he's, he doesn't play with fear. So um, I thought again, I thought a lot of guys were outstanding. Bronx has been good for, I mean, above normal, or I mean, I don't know, know if it, Bronx has been incredible for about the last six six games straight, um, extremely consistent and uh, and impacting games. Um, it's a great play he made to Gordon. Great play. Uh, actually, I thought it was Worksy uh, that scored it, and then when they announced Gordo again, I thought, yeah, I guess it was a righty, not a lefty. So. Um, is there anything you're going to tell the guys to keep in mind for tomorrow? It's going to be a very hostile environment there in Marquette. Um, just keep your head up kind of things? No, no they, know, they, they know what they're doing. I mean, both teams, we, our guys are, I mean, our guys are men. They can, they can protect themselves. And, you know, it was a, it's going to be a battle. They're, you know, they're good in their, their rank. But the difference is it's not Olympic rank anymore. So, mm -hmm. um, 
we'll see how that it'll be fun to play in that game and see you know you're looking for you're, we're, I'm looking to see how we bounce back again and it's not even a bounce back but how we follow this performance up tomorrow you know we've we've been getting points um, pretty consistently and uh, you know we'll check the scores right now and see see where that's at but there's still a long way to go but um, you know we'll take tomorrow as it comes we'll get some good video in tonight and do some work and get ready to go tomorrow how important was Kataros' goal in just being able to, to show them you can score on the park again after last weekend where it seemed like things didn't quite work? Yeah, what a shot. But last weekend we only had like three the whole weekend and one the second night. Um, you know, getting him and then Worksy, I think, got the second power play goal. I mean, and then we had several chances. It was just, you know, their penalty kill has been very good. I, I think they gave up one last weekend to Augustana. And, and, and that included two five-minute majors in the first period last Saturday night, I think. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're, they're a good team. And our guys, you know, I thought moved the puck quickly, got looks at the net. Arvid made a great shot. Um, it's really fun to watch Arvid right now do different things in practice that you've never seen him do before. Like he's getting a confidence with the puck and doing different different things, and it's paying off in offensive production. And I'm, I'm you know, extremely happy for him. And it was a great shot. Thank you.